Good morning. Today we're looking at example 1.4.2, a graph with parameters from section 1.4, graphing functions with Excel. We want to graph a function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c with particular values of a, b, and c. What we're really doing is redoing the last example with the parameters that makes it easy to change. Once again, we're going to start with the unused worksheets from the section that are pre-set up for you. We're trying to graph the function y equals x squared minus 6x plus 0, the same function we did last time but doing with parameters so that we could change them. The difference in my formulas is I'm now using parameters which are absolute references. So when I want a, that's dollar sign b dollar sign 9, which is where a is, but the important thing is that when I copy it down with a quick fill, notice that the references with the dollar signs stay the same, while the references without the dollar signs change. Because from my cell B15, A, B, and C really are in B9, B10, and B11, while the X value, A15, is just what's ever next to this cell. Having that, I'm ready to take my block of cells and do quick fill down to 35. That gives me my table of formulas. I unshow the values. I get my values. I'm then going to insert, just like I did last time, I'm going to insert a chart. And before I insert the chart, I want to include my labels. So I'm going to now insert the scatter plot, marked scatter plot. There's the graph I want. The advantage of this version is if I wanted to change my constant to 7, it redoes the graph. Or if I make this a minus 2, it changes the graph. And so I can change my parameters and everything else carries through. Thank you.